The movie begins with a detective accusing a man of kidnapping a woman and warning him about the potential of spending his life in prison. The detective tightens his grip on the man's neck, demanding information on the woman's whereabouts, and to everyone's surprise, the man confesses, saying, she's gone. After this, we witness Will Spahn, employed in real estate, dropping off his wife Lisa at her parents' house. They make a pit stop at a gas station, where Lisa goes to grab a water bottle while Will refuels. In the restroom, Lisa receives a troubling message from someone named Clint, appearing distressed as she reads it. As she leaves the store, a man calls out to her. She begins to approach him, but a large white van blocks the view, concealing what happens next. Meanwhile, Will finishes refueling and begins searching for Lisa. He searches throughout the store, even the women's restroom, but she's nowhere to be found. He asks Oscar, the gas station attendant, who hasn't spotted her. Will frantically looks everywhere, calls her phone, and questions everyone nearby if they've seen her. Returning inside, he obtains the service station's address and the local police station's contact information. In a state of panic, he contacts the police to report Lisa missing. The officer assures him of swift assistance. Will then visits Lisa's parents' home, asking if she's there or with a friend, but they haven't seen her. An argument arises between Lisa's parents and Will, they suspect he might have argued with her, leading her to leave. However, Will explains the situation, seeking their help in locating Lisa. Leaving her parents' place, he goes back to the service station to await the detective. While he waits, he reflects on a moment when Lisa proposed a break in their relationship due to his inadequate responses in their conversations. This hinted at her waning interest in their marriage without a clear explanation. Returning from his thoughts, Will stays at the service station. Detective Pearson arrives and questions Oscar, the attendant, about the security footage. Oscar claims the cameras aren't functioning, so the detective returns to his station. Still at the service station, Will observes the camera's indicator light is on, indicating it's operational. He challenges Oscar about it, leading to a confrontation between them. After the altercation, Will obtains the recording device and brings it to Detective Pearson's police station. They review the footage in the control room, growing suspicious of Oscar's involvement in the disappearance as they watch the recording. They observe Lisa conversing with an unfamiliar man. When Pearson inquires if Will knows the man, he denies any familiarity. The next moment, Lisa gets into the man's car, but a passing truck obstructs the view on the camera. Once the truck clears, the car is no longer there. Will takes a photo of the computer screen displaying the car and the man. Pearson then escorts Will to an interrogation room and probes him about his relationship with his wife. Will acknowledges they've been facing difficulties. Pearson hints that Will might be having an affair, a claim Will rejects. However, when asked if Lisa might be involved with someone else, he concedes it's a possibility. Will starts feeling like he's under suspicion for orchestrating Lisa's disappearance due to their marital problems. Pearson exits the room but keeps an eye on Will through a surveillance camera, contemplating his actions. Will slips into another flashback, recalling the good moments with Lisa, such as making breakfast for her, and reflecting on how their relationship deteriorated over time. Later, Will revisits Lisa's parents, Anna and Barry, and presents them with the CCTV photo. They identify the man as Knuckles, their handyman. Anna, Lisa's mom, confirms that the car Lisa got into belongs to Knuckles. Will then sets out to find Knuckles. On his way, he calls Detective Pearson to apologize for his earlier rudeness at the station and asks to be informed if there's any news about Lisa. Subsequently, Will covertly enters Knuckles' house. Inside, he discovers Knuckles hastily packing his belongings, appearing panicked. Will confronts him about Lisa's whereabouts. Despite Knuckles' attempts to soothe the situation, they engage in a fierce brawl. Eventually, Will prevails, taking control of Knuckles' firearm. Knuckles discloses that, under pressure, he had to hand Lisa over to someone named Frank. Amid the scuffle, Knuckles implores Will to cease, promising to guide him to Frank. Will compels Knuckles into his car trunk and drives off to locate Frank. Meanwhile, Detective Pearson revisits the gas station to converse with Oscar but discovers he left early. He cautions the attendant to have Oscar contact him or face the potential shutdown of the gas station. As Will is on the road searching for Frank, a police car starts tailing him. He pulls over at a traffic signal, anxious that the officer might discover Knuckles in the trunk. The cop, approaching for a speeding violation, requests Will's documents. Continuing his inquiry, the officer requests Will to open his trunk. Realizing Knuckles is inside, Will panics and flees into the nearby woods. After reporting the incident, the cop opens the trunk, discovering Knuckles. Meanwhile, Detective Pearson is at Anna and Barry's house, questioning them about the relationship between Will and Lisa. He discloses Lisa's involvement with Clint. Anna recalls questioning Lisa about Clint, 
to which Lisa explained she met him once due to loneliness and a desire for company. Shifting back to Will, now evading capture in the woods, he stops, catching his breath, checks his map, and recalls a conversation with Lisa where she expressed distrust in him, leading him to tell her to enjoy her freedom and have fun. In another flashback, Anna discusses Will's likely upset over Lisa's infidelity with Lisa, who responds by saying Will doesn't appear to be the type to get angry over such matters. Back at Lisa's parents' house, Detective Pearson informs them that he has examined all of Lisa's electronic devices but hasn't discovered any leads. He confirms with Lisa's mother that Knuckles is acquainted with Lisa's appearance, as they had known each other in their youth. Her mother suggests searching Knuckles' place, but Pearson mentions he has already done so and found nothing. Lisa's father urges the detective to initiate a search operation, but Pearson explains that legally, this situation isn't considered a crime since Knuckles and Lisa were familiar with each other, and she willingly entered his car. Meanwhile, Will continues navigating through the woods and comes across a lower road where he notices a bike. Contemplating taking it, he encounters a man emerging from the bushes. Upon questioning, Will invents a story about meeting Frank after his car broke down. The man, revealed to be Frank's guard, attempts to verify this with Frank via a walkie-talkie but receives no response. The guard, convinced by Will's confident story, guides him to Frank's camp. In the camp, resembling a drug lab with people under the influence and bottles of explosives, Will witnesses chaotic scenes, including gunfire into the air. The camp is situated in a dilapidated farm in the woods, and Will stealthily enters, eavesdropping on conversations among Frank's group. Switching back to Detective Pearson, he's on the phone with a patrol officer who updates him on Will's escape into the woods. Returning to Will, he cautiously navigates the camp, unnoticed by most people. While moving stealthily, he's suddenly attacked by a man from inside a car. Will successfully knocks him out and acquires his guns for protection. Spotting Oscar arriving at the camp, confirming his suspicions, Will initiates his search for Lisa within the camp. Detective Pearson interrogates Knuckles, questioning his occupation. Knuckles states that he takes on any job for payment. Pearson accuses him of kidnapping Lisa for a ransom scheme, pressuring him to confess. Meanwhile, Will continues searching the camp for Lisa. Suddenly, a man notices Will, who signals him to remain quiet and assures no harm, but swiftly knocks him out. Pearson proposes a deal to Knuckles, if he discloses Lisa's whereabouts, Pearson will advocate for leniency in court and attempt to convince Lisa's family and husband not to press charges. Knuckles, however, suspects this is merely a tactic and lies. Pearson persists in questioning Knuckles about Lisa. In a flashback, we witness Knuckles' true interaction with Lisa at the gas station, where he identifies himself as the worker from her parents' house and coerces her into his car under the pretense of providing her with an invoice. Back at the camp, Will hides and reflects on better times with Lisa. Continuing his quest, he confronts two individuals, demanding information about Lisa while holding them at gunpoint. When Will brings up Knuckles and the abduction, the men claim ignorance. Will instructs them to open a nearby door, which they do, revealing Frank, who promptly starts shooting at Will. Will manages to find cover. Resuming his search amid the ongoing gunfire, Will exchanges shots with an assailant. The assailant is hit, and nearby, a small fire starts near drug chemicals and flammable solvents. Approaching the injured man for information about Lisa, Will discovers he is dead. Overwhelmed, Will begins to panic. Exiting the building as the fire grows, he takes a moment outside, leaning against a car, lost in thoughts of happier times with Lisa, including her apology, as memories flood back. Will urges everyone to leave the area due to the danger. While continuing his quest for Lisa, a door swings open, and he's confronted by a man holding a gun, Oscar, the gas station attendant. They engage in a heated exchange, with Will demanding to know Lisa's whereabouts. Oscar initially claims he's there to purchase drugs, stating that the place is a narcotics lab. He then admits he's aware of the issues in Will and Lisa's relationship, information provided by Knuckles. Stunned by this revelation, Will pleads with Oscar for any information about Lisa. Oscar demands a payment of $20,000 in exchange for the information. Initially distrustful, Will refuses, but when Oscar shows him Lisa's phone, Will is convinced and agrees to pay any amount for information about Lisa. As Will angrily accuses Oscar of involvement in Lisa's abduction, an explosion suddenly occurs, killing Oscar and throwing Will to the ground. The setting returns to the beginning, with Detective Pearson questioning Knuckles about why he falsely claimed Lisa was dead. Knuckles explains that it was a jest related to Frank, Lisa's ex-boyfriend, proposing they could extort money from her wealthy husband. He confesses to kidnapping Lisa at the gas station and delivering her to Frank, who became furious upon discovering the gas station had cameras. Frank instructed Knuckles to dig a grave to bury Lisa, fearing they couldn't let her live. 
Knuckles feared Frank might also kill him, hence his panic and insistence that he had no intention of harming Lisa beyond using her for ransom. Pearson presses Knuckles for the location of the planned burial site, discovering it's at Frank's house. Upon Pearson's arrival at Frank's place, firefighters are extinguishing the flames. He finds Will and informs him that Knuckles has been found in his car. Visibly stressed, Will questions the detective about whether he'll be arrested. The detective, concentrating on the investigation, instructs Will to remain where he is and goes to examine a dubious hole in the ground. He reveals it, only to find it unoccupied. Meanwhile, Will hears sounds coming from a shed nearby. Inside, he finds Lisa, alive but tied up and visibly shaken. He reassures and comforts her, aiding her in leaving the shed. The following scene depicts Will at Lisa's parents' house, waiting by himself. Detective Pearson shows up with new information. Knuckles has admitted and pointed to Frank as the primary wrongdoer. The detective notes that not everyone harmed in the lab explosion was solely affected by the blast, as some sustained gunshot wounds. Nevertheless, he suggests he won't delve deeper into this aspect. Pearson recommends Will take care of himself and leaves. Lisa comes out, joined by her parents. She asks for some personal time with Will. The couple, now back together, strolls toward the house, smiling and holding hands, symbolizing a promising reconciliation. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.